Hey Sam friends, welcome. So today we're going to do an unboxing of La Via Belle Soleil Crystal. This one right here. I did smell this one in store and I hope that it is as good as I remember. Then I will give you a first impression, go away, come back and tell you any further thoughts as well as how the fragrance performed. If that's of interest to you, please keep watching. Welcome back. So here we go. So that's the box there. Oh, it's such a pretty bottle. My goodness. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful bottle? It has like a holographic out, outside the bottle's holographic. And then obviously you've got the traditional bow, like all the Livia Bell products do. Okay, so I'm going to spray this on a test strip and go through some scent notes with you and some additional information. Then we'll do the first impression. All right, let's do it, shall we? I'm so excited. So excited. Has a beautiful atomizer as well. I love that. Okay, so while that's drying down, I'll give you the scent notes, etc. And then I'll give you the first impression. Okay, so the top notes of the fragrance are mandarin orange, pink pepper, and bergamot. The mid notes are ylang ylang, iris, orange blossom, and jasmine. And base notes are coconut, vanilla, and patchouli. Now, I don't remember this being very patchouli heavy in store because I'm not a big patchouli fan. I just hope that it remains that way. So the cost of this bottle here, this is a 100 ml bottle and it was 200 Australian dollars. So this fragrance here is available on, on most online fragrance retailers and I have also seen it on eBay and Amazon. It's described as a coconut floral fragrance. I love coconut, so I was really excited. I really enjoy the original Olivia Bell, uh, but with that coconut note, I really thought, hey, it's gonna take it to the next level for me, for what my taste gravitates towards. This one is marketed as a female scent. Okay, so I think we've let it dry down for long enough. Let's give it a smell and see what we think. Okay, so definitely a white floral. It's The floral's there, but it isn't crazy dominant like I've smelled in other fragrances when there is a white floral or jasmine note in there. That citrus note is actually up front too, so they're sort of hand in hand at this point. The woody notes are right in the background, but you can identify them. It's definitely sweet, but not sicklingly sweet or cloying. There is that powdery aspect of the fragrance as well. Now, to me, the coconut is there, but it's not as dominant as perhaps I would like, maybe as it dries down a little longer, because I believe coconut is listed in the base notes, it'll come forth a little bit more. So far though, I really do like it. Now, what I will do is I will go, go away, I'll come back to you guys in a few hours and give you any follow-up thoughts as well as how the fragrance has performed on the test strip. So I will see you soon. Later that same evening. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the test strip I sprayed around about four and a half hours ago. The woody notes now have come more to the forefront and so has that beautiful coconut. The white floral is still there, but it's not as dominant as when I first sprayed it. And I believe that the citrus notes are also more now, instead of them being hand in hand with the white floral, they're now a little ahead of the white floral. But that powderiness is still very dominant and there. So if you're not a big powdery scent lover, this one may not be for you. I can smell that orange blossom note too, which gives it that beautiful, not marshmallow, but it gives it that familiarity to marshmallow. And I'm so relieved the patchouli, you can, you can smell it, but it's so far back that I wouldn't call this a patchouli heavy scent by any means. 
So for people out there that don't enjoy patchouli, this one don't be afraid of. It's, it's not dominantly patchouli. And that pink pepper gives it that, mm, that little bit of a, mm, that spicy kind of kick that breaks up all of the coconuts and white florals and heavier sort of scents. It is a really nice scent. Um, I need some time with it, a few more days to get a real feeling for it. So if you would like a follow-up review on this fragrance, put it in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. But as it is now, I'm quite happy with it. Am I blown away, crazy, out of the box? No, I'm not. It's in all honesty, quite a generic smelling fragrance. It is a crowd pleaser, definitely. You wouldn't find a lot of people that wouldn't enjoy this fragrance as a gift idea. I think it's a brilliant um, alternative to some, maybe some other fragrances that might be a hit and miss. I can't see many people not liking this fragrance. In saying that though, as I said, this bottle here was $200. Now there are niche fragrances that are in that price point or maybe a little bit more or a little bit less that may deliver a little bit more. Now I'm not saying niche fragrances because they're niche are better. I'm saying in the price point that it is, is it worth it being quite generic, uh, crowd pleasing, I don't think it is worth the price. Now, La Via Belle, the original, it's obviously for a gourmand level, which I love. It's very sweet, very comforting, very warm. This one does go in a different direction. It's not a bad direction by any means. I do really enjoy the fragrance. I just think for that $200 price tag that it's quite generic. It's quite, there's nothing new here. There's nothing to blow your mind or think, wow, you know, that's taken my breath away kind of thing. So yeah, basically I would give this one a rating of a seven out of 10. I think that it is a beautiful fragrance. As I said, I think a lot of people would love it. It's not too overbearing, it's not too strong, it's quite pleasant. Uh, it's not a beast performing fragrance by any mean, but it's also not a skin scent. And it smells a little soapy to me. It gives me that soapy vibe. Which again, I'm not a big fan of. I, I don't love soapy fragrances. But for people, again, that love soapy fragrances, this one might be for you. So I hope that I've been able to answer some of your questions about La Via Belle Solal Cristal. It is a beautiful bottle. It really is. The fragrance overall is very nice, very mass appealing. And I don't think too many people would smell it and go, I really don't like that, or that's too strong for me, or that gives me headaches. I think it's a safe bet. So for gifting, fantastic. And if you're a person who doesn't like particularly strong fragrances uh, or wants, wants a good office scent that won't offend everybody there in the room, then this is probably a safe bet. Uh, but no, it's not mind blowing. It's nothing new. And for that price point, I think that it should be. So I hope I've helped you guys uh, with some questions you've had about this fragrance. If you have any further comments or questions, please put it in the comments below and I will get back to you. But thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye.